Hi, welcome to the small shed. This Saturday I've got to build a church. See you in a minute. Now I've just come back from visiting the grandchildren uh, half term before we had our second lockdown that we've just hit and as ever whenever I come back from there I've got two or three things I've usually got a cold we're usually completely worn out after two days but also more often than not we've got something to to make or mend or repair and in this instance um, they'd been around playing with some of their friends who had some of this wooden train track like they have but in this instance um, he had a a small church that every time you drove the engine past the bells rung and this seems to have been a, a major cause for wanting one himself and of course you can't find them anywhere on on ebay or anything because it's something i think they've stopped making so once more grandpa had to think about it for a bit now i did order some bits while i was down there but i also since i've come back i've just got out some of the electronic stuff that I use <coughs> um, in my model railway stuff and I think I've got a rough idea of what I want to do um, but I haven't got all of the parts at the moment uh, I use these little modules a lot you can get them on eBay you don't need to be an electronics genius I don't know a lot about it I just plug things like this together you can buy little timers you can buy little relays that switch things on and off you can get regulators like that that'll take 12 volts down to whatever you want it to be you know 3 volts or 4 volts or whatever um, all sorts of little modules and I find that if you just use those i use them quite a lot as i say on on my model railway switching lights on and off at timed intervals things like that but i've not got into detecting stuff before my thought was rather than have switches or anything that would be op operated by anything going past i'd work on um light sensitive diode or something like that uh, sorry light sensitive resistor so I looked up and found some little modules that I think might do the job um, so I think it's going to be a sort of modular set I'm going to need a power source well I've got a little battery box there that will hold I think four AA batteries so three maybe well that will give us a voltage output <coughs> I'll have to make, get some sort of voltage regulator that will take it down to the 3.3 volts I think it is I need for whatever it is we're doing I need to get a module which I, I've ordered two but I find I've actually got one that I've never used these are little modules that you can record a sound onto and then they'll play it back either looped or one off depending on how you set them so that will be the like the next in the chain you'll have the power being brought to the right level put into that module so all i need is something to trigger that which is the thing i hadn't got and i've ordered that which is some light dependent resistors uh yeah light dependent resistor type modules so hopefully i can put the three or four things together without too much effort and no great knowledge of electronics you're just connecting wires together and when the, all this stuff arrives we can start and have a look and see if we can get it running right so here we are i think we finally got our bits arrived i've had one package already which is the light sensor which is the bit that i haven't got and i don't know anything about so this is a bit of a journey of discovery for me as to how that will work but that's the little module getting out of its packet now there are you've got a ground vcc do and ao so you've got a voltage that you put in you've got uh, positive you've got negative or ground on that one and then it will give you two outputs it'll either give you 
a digital one which is either on or off or it'll give you an analog which will give you a varying voltage and I think I'll be using the digital one this is the rest of the stuff that I've got which I ordered before because I, I was away from home when I ordered it and in fact I think the modules are the same as the ones that I'd already got <coughs> look. yeah it's pretty much the same uh, as that one that I've got and yeah obviously it's a lot smaller but it's the same chip and the same sort of layout two of those with the speaker three of those with the speaker and again we've got the same set of outputs and inputs here VCC ground and a whole load of little jumper cables and things that you alter it and that's the speaker output there goes to that one and there'll no doubt be a microphone one somewhere oh that is the microphone I see so I can just record some sound and, and input it and then effectively these little push buttons one is for recording one is playing one off and one of one is play E is playing it once play L is playing it on a loop it just continues to play and I think th these little switches are actually here as well play E is PE there play L is PL there and so the only missing thing now I've got is to get this from 6 volts down to I think these need 3.3 right so I've set my little power supply up just to power this up set it up to I think it's 3.2 volts is what's required and then we'll have a look and see what happens actually to the device itself when when we've got it powered up it's going close so we'll put the power on and instantly we get two lights on it one of them is just the power on and off and the other one is the what's happening to the switching on it and so if we go close to it now on the little resistor there it's a diode I think actually that measures the light that seems to be on all the while so we just turn it down a bit Ah, now, as soon as I go anywhere near it now, that light is going out. So we'll just reduce the sensitivity right down. As soon as you go near it now with the train running, it, it will switch off. And that will trigger one of those two outputs, which will in turn operate the bells once or whatever. And then it will go away again. So that's hopefully how it will work I'm not sure whether it will need a relay to switch so that when that one's on the bells are off and vice versa or whether it will trigger the, the bells that's something I need to just have a look at this little module and find out how that will work as well but at least we know the principle of my idea is something that will work when you go in front of it that little light goes <coughs> when you go in front of it that little light goes out that's all I wanted to know right if we fast forward a couple of days we've got all the rest of the bits now I think um, the little buck converters have arrived which I must confess are a lot smaller than I had imagined um, these things I'm, I'm used to dealing with them when I was doing the railway layout a few years ago and they were that sort of size <laughs> That is somewhat smaller than I expected, but never mind. So we'll have a look at one of these sound modules and see where we go, and then we can start and try and put it all together, I think. As with all these things, I can't quite remember where I was with it, but I think that little unit needs 3.5 volts, and, and these ones will operate on more, so I can um, hopefully 
get all the right voltages off a couple of or a pack of four cells AA batteries that will give them six volts and should last a long time then. So we'll put the plus on to VCC, we'll put the ground on to ground, try and keep those pins apart and now if we put, switch it on, five and a half volts on there so there's a little speaker on it there, a little re ma a microphone there, sorry. And we've plugged the speaker in. So in theory now, if we press record. Hi, welcome to the small shed. And then we'll just press play. Hi, welcome to the small shed. Result. Now, what we're intending to do is to actually work these by shorting out to terminals there, PE. Hi, welcome to the small shed. So I think we've got all the components now. We've got the switch to make it work. We've got the little buck converter to make it the right voltages. We've got the actual mechanism to play church bells in theory, if I record them now onto that. And be triggered by that little unit. So I'm going to just going to lash those together with some proper connectors and we'll see if we can make it work. Just try and put a blob of solder across it. I think that's done it. Give it a try. Right now rigged it up hopefully how it will work. Um, we've got the little buck converter down the bottom, we take 12, uh, 6 or 7 volts in, that converts it down to the 3.5 I need. We've got the little speech unit there and I've got the track circuit sort of now ready so that if ever a train comes over that now So all we need to do now is get some sound of bells and build this lot into a structure which is going to be a church, build that part into a track so that it'll just work. Hi, welcome to the small shed. All as one unit. So that's got my proof of concept put into some sort of shape and that actually works which is a surprise to me but still that's um, the way it goes sometimes you get lucky uh, next week or next time around I'll be building the actual church itself and we'll get the structure built get some track built and things like that hope it was of interest look forward to seeing you next time we'll see you then bye